How's it going, guys? We are back for another episode of the Ruby Volume 9 Reactions. Uh, this is the first episode where it's just going to be one, one episode of the show. Um, as always, I am joined by the lovely Gus. Um, lovely? I'm offended. Lo- Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, fuck oh. you, I'm leaving. Nah, um, yeah. Uh, How dare you say that about me? <laughs> damn it. Um, I'm a yeah. real man. I'm a real <laughs> man. Um, yeah, we're here to watch Ruby Volume 9, Episode 4. Uh, as mm-hmm. it stands right now on Crunchyroll, it doesn't have a title, so that is unfortunate. Um, well, that's a crunchy roll moment for you. Yeah, it's, it does that. It's fine. Um, and I just wanted to say uh, thank you, everyone, that uh, watched my uh, watched the first episode of this. Yes. We watched the first three episodes. Yeah. Because it has already popped off to the point where it, it is currently my sixth most viewed video I have on my channel. <laughs> so um, that, tells, that tells you... Um, yeah, I actually uh, did go back and check some of the comments, and I got like a lot of what the commenters were saying that like completed some of the missing pieces of the picture that i needed so they're yes. actually helpful so if if we miss something again don't hesitate to let us know yes please there there's there was a lot of helpful comments like the one um that lady pointed out oh the, sorry I, I i can't assume gender anymore i apologize um that one commenter po- uh, pointed out about the thing about yang asking uh, the, the ra- raccoon asked yang about um what it's like to feel loved and Yang didn't want to give that up. It's not that she didn't know what it was like to feel loved. It's just she didn't want to give that yeah. up. That makes a lot more mm-hmm. sense. So that was very helpful. Yes. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, there was some nice comments in there uh, elaborating on things we talked about. So thank you very much again. Uh, there was one comment I ended up removing that uh, was wildly... Uh, it misunderstood wildly uh, one of our jokes. Yes. Uh, it was basically, yeah, we were being sarcastic and they didn't get it and thought we were making fun of Yang. Yeah. Hey, guys, just letting you know that this is our brand of humor. If you've seen Firestorm, yes. you know how we talk shit all the time. Literally, mm-hmm. we were being sarcastic. We I were, Yang's absolutely not adore this cast. Like, I absolutely, the main four girls, I love them to death. All four of them. Like, there's, I would never seriously, like, I don't, like, actually like hate any of them there's like there maybe there are parts of the characters that i don't like but like yeah. genuinely i just really like all especially the main cast like the four the main four girls i just love them so even though like i'll be like oh yang's just dumb she's like because that's like how she presents herself sometimes and i'm just taking it to it's like to an extreme mm. so it's like we're just it's just, just for fun just like we're not li- actually trying to insinuate that yang doesn't have a brain like lit- you know, maybe she literally learn sarcasm please like yeah understand sarcasm this is this is our brand of humor if you don't like it then get your fuck out anyway yeah go watch the episode on Crunchyroll instead of yeah, us yeah exactly stop free reading out of us <laughs> um, but thank you but then I, I will say everyone thank you for everyone that's liked the video and subscribed um, I want to get my channel to the point where it can be monetized because I've been doing this for years and I feel like that would be nice. So I need to hit a thousand subscribers and whatnot. So yes, subscribe and all that jazz. Thank you very much. Um, how about we get into the episode? I have seen let's do it. tweets from, I think, one of the... Uh, I don't know if it was the writers or one of the animators, but they said it was a very emotional episode. So I'm looking forward, oh. I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. So... Uh, I'm ready when you are. I'll let you do the countdown. Yeah. Do you have anything to say before we get into this? No, but if the if the even the animators or whoever it was are looking forward to this, then I'm I'm expecting good things. Mm. So let's let's do this. All right, awesome. All right, countdown in three, two, one, go. Countdown master over here. Yes. Countdown yes. special. It's the fight. Wait, I gotta say that on the last episode. The final countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Also, um, uh, I watched a video about a theory about how what happened at the end with Neo getting duplicates. Someone theorized that that wasn't Semblance Evolution. That was just the power of the Ever After basically sinking with Neo's power. That was one theory. So, because 
The only evidence of Neo, uh, of a similar evolution we've had is uh, Ren. No one else has really had mm. their semblance evolve. So, mm. I'm curious yeah, if I'm not that sure was... I follow that theory, but... I mean, yeah, that is one way it to would look just make it, a... I guess. Yeah, it would just make a lot more sense if it was semblance evolution, because, like... Mm -hmm. Like, that just makes a lot of sense to me, so... Yeah. Who's this one chick on, this, this one, like, bug on the hookah that just fucking... <laughs> like, on fucking Bro. ham. I, I, I did, um, I, I did some, like, I, I just kind of listened to try to arrange a little bit of, uh, I won't, I won't spoil anything, but I am looking into covering a Ruby song, and I was just looking into, like, I looked into this song, I tried to arrange it a little bit by ear, and it happens with so many of the Ruby songs, they change keys so much and I don't even realize. Like, mm. it's ridiculous. Like, they, there's, the musicality is, like, all over the place, which is just wild. Like... It definitely makes it unique. I, the Ruby music is nuts. It really yeah. is. It happens with Inside, too. <laughs> kitty! Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty! The man is gone. Um, excuse me. You're I'm excused. <laughs> well, thank you. How kind of you. Uh. <laughs> Huh. There you go. Curious. Cat. Wow. Which one do you go by? Oh, I don't go by. That belongs to the days and the years. But Oh, we got a wise guy over here. I am. There we do. I do suppose I am indeed a cat most curious. Of course. Uh, Man, you said a lot of words, but there were not a lot of actually things you said. Really need to get to that giant tree and I feel like 80% of, of the time that's what his dialogue will be. Further. It looks to me like we're even farther. Yeah, I think that's because we're six inches tall. It could be both. The tree. Tree, 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 tree. Got him. <laughs> of course. That is most definitely impossible. You do not go to the tree. The tree goes to you. Unless, of course, you're me. What? You see. Not even a little bit. Well, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no, true. It's a matter of perspective, I'm afraid. But... Uh, couldn't you take us then? You've been there before. So why would I ever want to go back? Yes, I'm glad we understand one another. No sense in seeing a sight seen. Please, oh. you helped Alex when she was- Alex? Alex, Alex? How do you know her? Are you friends of hers? He can Lifelong fly? nemeses? Wait, don't tell me. She could fly. This bitch could Band fly. Club. Uh, Whoa. Well, we don't know her personally. Just uh, she wrote a book about her entire adventure in the Ever After. A book? Is it well liked? It's kind of a childhood favorite of everyone's where we're from. Yes. Oh, please. I simply must know more. What did she write about? How was I portrayed? And do I smell a mouse? <laughs> no. Nope. From no. one cat to another. Could you give us a minute, please? Oh, so they're spoken for. Well, please, please hurry. I have so Dang. many, many questions. Well, the curious cat does have questions. Are we sure they're not called the constantly annoying? Well, got them. Totally roasted. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, yeah. The you got it, Weiss. Weiss with well, the fucking well, burns out here. Of information. Just because they don't want to go back to the tree doesn't mean we can't lure them there. Okay. How can you, you lure them to the tree if you don't even like know how to get there? That shouldn't be too hard. We gotta tell them something's you know, up the tree. The cat's gone. <laughs> 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 I, I do, I do like the pre-spats of humor. I do think it's whoa. Well, wait up! Uh, didn't you have wait. questions for us? We'd be happy to answer them. <sighs> I sense a butt approaching. <laughs> Good one. No, no. Solid. Uh, I mean, we do still need to go to the tree, but that'll take ages, right? Uh, plenty of time to tell you all the stuff from our world. <laughs> Look, uh, ever seen a scroll before? Ooh. Luminous rectangle. <laughs> what does this How mean? does that still work? He just took a selfie. Yo, pictures of evidence of the ever after. Is that what I look like? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. How exciting. 
So the old man and the boy share a body now? Ooh, well, that's got some Whoa. Man. Who thought that was a helpful True. way to reincarnate? True. The same people who put a city in the sky. She just gave him the whole Speaking fucking that, spiel. Did that CL girl from the vital CL come back in a notable way? <laughs> they just they haven't mentioned CL since volume them. fucking three. What was my original question? Like, it's your turn. You asked about the origins of Remnant. That's right. Woo, those two brothers. Talk about a god huh. complex, am I right? Well, that's what, well, yeah, quite legitimately. I mean, Though yeah. I felt some of the character voices were a bit uninspired. Wow. <laughs> you wise huntress. Man, this is getting really meta. Just twice. It is. <laughs> Apologies. To your credit, you lot certainly know more about the beginnings of Remnant than Alex did. That girl could barely see past her own nose. <laughs> that bitch was dumb. <laughs> oh, you know. Could barely see Just past her own nose. Hilariously concerned with trivial things. Yeah, but she learned her lesson in the end, right? I'd she got the moral so. of the story. Oh, would you look at that? She fucking died. No. The edge of the garden's acre. So yeah, everything split up into acres. Oh, that, that looks like that forest. That looks like that one forest in Gal or whatever it is. I forget its name. Huh. Man, the fact that even mentioned CL. That's fucking crazy. How does anyone make sense of this? Each acre is made specifically for its inhabitants. This curious cat. Fucking. Is it not like massive being being meta audience? No? Like, hey, yeah, oh, putting so a pretty. fucking island in the sky was a dumb idea, guys. I do believe some of the character voices were a bit uninspired. To regular size. Not long at all. The garden is just down this path, and is <laughs> not long at all in terms of my lifespan. Just don't go talking to Gogurt? without me. Wait, that's product You're placement. Careful. We might get our heads cut off. That is how we met, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, you remnant folk are such troublemakers. True. Well, Says this I'm dude. Sure cause a lot less trouble once we're back to normal. Bah. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Some of my best friends are six inches tall. If I were you, I'd be more worried about... Who was that scary sorceress you mentioned? Uh, Salim? Salem? How many more relics does she need to end the world again? <laughs> How are you even supposed to stop her now that Atlas is gone? Yeah, these are all questions that they genuinely have. Uh... Hey, Rubes, I uh, I don't have enough hope to fill this jaw. Right We've got enough problems to The cat. What? <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't paying attention. But now he'll never know how to stop her if <laughs> Atlas is falling. You didn't say anything? He'll never learn. It was a very interesting bug. <sighs> Man, a fucking the book. Why did it have to be the cat? <laughs> Why couldn't we have gotten help from the lively carpenter or the rusted knight? One was sweet, one was handsome, and neither of them had the attention span of a goldfish. You know, I bet you could find a goldfish in one of these ponds. Speaking of attention span. Hey, do you hear that? No. I pretend I do not hear. <laughs> no, totally. Don't go towards the ominous noise. Oh, wait, so it's still on path. Okay. Is Bro. this the garden? Dig into that giant mushroom Is and make a house inside it. Garden? Just live but here. Where's that humming coming from? Oh, the pile of rainbow leaves. Of course. What are you? <sighs> I feel like that should be my question. I'm really tired of that question. What question? <laughs> What are you? <laughs> oh, that question. Isn't it obvious? No. I am an herbalist. The oh. herbalist. At A least. respectable occupation. Hmm. Until I'm not anymore. Oh. Oh, good. I think that means well, until they die. All questions answered, then. Um, sorry to bother. But, I got that. Uh, my friends and I could use some help. <laughs> See, we're trying to get to that giant. Why tree, should I but... care? I'm just an herbalist. To the tree. Ah, yes. Everyone needs help these days. Everyone. Except me. But everyone oh, he does refuses live in to help others. 
Because they fucking he does, See, he does live in the mushroom. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> well, are you coming in or aren't you? You can make us a Grogurt Parfait, right? <sighs> Damn uh, tourists. <laughs> fucking tourists. Don't know shit about the Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom. I must say... You all all they want is the Grogurt Parfaits. What did you say you were again? We're huntresses. And what exactly? They know hum humans is like a slur do down here, so they know not to say humans. I guess. I'm sorry. I don't understand why this matters. I don't understand how you don't understand. I am an herbalist. I make medicines and remedies to help others on their journeys. It is what I am. So, do you know what a huntress is, or do you guess? Huntresses are heroes. We protect those who can't protect themselves. Thank you. Now, would you say that you're good huntresses? <laughs> no! <laughs> Can you help us or not? I am trying. <gasps> But you are making this far more complicated than it needs to be. Answer the we fucking question! Titles, or roles to play. But in order to help you become whatever it is you need to become, you should really have a better understanding of what you are now. Okay. Damn. How do we open Mushroom Door? <sighs> this is how a king winds up a prince. Follow me. I, my so the, the whole thing done. about the Ever After is that you are what you're destined to be. Like, you, you are your... If you are a huntress, then that is all you are. That's why, like, little is a mouse. He's small. This guy's a fucking herbalist. That's all he is. So you got to be mm -hmm. one defining thing. And they don't understand that. Zambuka. <laughs> Take a seat. Um, actually, I think maybe we should be going. Right, Ruby? This won't take long. Have a fucking He's off. going to tell your fortune. Just answer the questions. Yeah, just fucking do it. Blood rotation. What? Bro, I should have took. I shouldn't have taken that acid earlier. I'm going fucking crazy. No, they're having the acid now. Oh God, they fell! Are you sure you know? You have to be sure of what. Oh man. End of what? I'm about to get some epic, sad flashbacks. <laughs> or nightmares, or something. Whoa! Oh. What? You don't have to go forward, you know. She has two arms. Back to before. Ha! Ah! What are you talking about? <laughs> she has two arms. Really? Owned. <laughs> you could just be human. Or just a cat. If you wanted. <laughs> really, it's up to you. Why would I do that? Like I said, it's simple. Much simpler than trying to be a bridge between humans and faunus. Why struggle with that responsibility? The Shni name. Why bother anymore? What does it even stand for now? Instead, you could be a nobody. Could you imagine? Not a single bit of baggage upon your shoulders. Isn't that what you want? To be free? To be something simpler? To be whole again? Ha! Ah! No. <laughs> she has losses, one arm. My failures, those more than anything, are what have shaped me into who I am. Showed me how I need to grow. If there's something I'm missing, it's not because I've lost it. It's because I haven't found it yet. And the only Except for my arm. To keep going, that shit's not coming back. Life wouldn't be my life. My family, my friends, my culture. Whoa. I belong to them just as much as they belong to me. To give that all away wouldn't be simplicity. It would be betrayal. I don't know who you think you are, but let me tell you who I am. I am the granddaughter of a hero and the child Dang. of a villain. I am B5 the royal of a vibes kingdom, here. And an heir to nothing. I 
will not be defined by my name because I will be the one to define it. I am Weishni. And I am a huntress. I am a huntress. I am a huntress. Oh. So. Oh. Are you a huntress? Oh. Like the ones you read about in books? Damn. I. Ugh. I don't know. They always saved the day, didn't they? Always knew what to do. Always won in the end. But life isn't like a fairy tale. That's right. It's up to you to make things better, isn't it? Everything all depends on you. Your sister needs you. Your friends need you. The whole world needs you to keep fighting forever and ever against an invincible monster that took your mother. Wow. Mom was the best. Oh. But even she failed. And that doesn't seem fair. None of this seems fair. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. You don't even have to be Ruby Rose. So, what are you gonna be? Get away from her! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> wow. <coughs> oh my! That's a bit much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my man too big took too big a huff. You're done. You're supposed to be helping others find their way. But you've lost your own. Please let me help. And take a little bit of my heart. You'll feel much better. Uh, I do apologize. I always was a bit of a workaholic. What the fuck did he do? Entrances, was it? Hmm. hmm. Peculiar things. Oh, okay. Huh. What happened? <laughs> I found the cat. Thanks, little. You're the best. Okay. So Damn. yeah. Yeah, no, making everyone confront and, like, have the opportunity to go back and be something else. And three of them are like, uh, no. We've already been here. through too much crap. We know the deal. I love that. Then in the cra Yeah. And then Ruby's just like, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Because yeah. I, keep, I keep failing. And they're the one, like, Ruby's the one taking all the responsibility for every failure. Despite mm -hmm. the fact that, like, it's not all on her, even though she's the leader. Yeah. Damn. And she was, like, she grew up, like, thinking Huntresses were all, like, the, the ones she read about as a kid. Where they always won in the end and always saved the day with a smile on their face. And that's mm. not, that's not the case here. Oof. It's that did hit pretty hard. Oof. Yeah, well, I, I understand. I understand why people said that was emotional. That, yeah, I get that. Yeah. That's that's a bit fucked. Um, <sighs> but that was necessary. Like, that was necessary. So yeah, this will, is good. I like this. I like this as well. This is kind of that bridge between, like, <clears throat> there's, a, there's always that thing in storytelling of show, don't tell, um, which I know Ruby has issues with. And... I feel mm. like it, like they 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 were at a point where they needed to, unfortunately, go against that rule and just straight up say, "Yeah, look, this is what's going on." Because, like, Ruby has been such has been such at a weird point of like impossibility and doing things that are so that sometimes are illogical that the show don't tell method hasn't worked out for them, like. Like, uh, they've tried doing that with, like, Blake and Yang's relationship, and it's just ended up annoying everyone. So, like, mm. it's kind of, they're at that point where they have to say, like, hey, let's just say where all the four main girls are at, make it, make it clear, so then moving yeah. forward we know what they have to deal with. And, yeah, I like this. Weiss, Yang, and Blake are very confident in themselves. They know what they've, they've all been through a lot of shit independently ruby's the only one that 
hasn't been through a whole heap of development, but has taken all the burdens of every failure on her shoulders. So she yeah. is at that point of like giving up, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So. It is almost like an annoying trope when, especially like the main protagonist of a story, like just, just blames themselves for everything. And like, no, and it just keeps piling on over and over again, no matter how, like over the numerous failures and all that. And it happens in a lot of different stories, but I think it's done really well here. Because, like, I think for Ruby, it makes sense. You know, like, it's just... Because, like, that, I think it aligns with her character, but it also is, like, she's personally suffered so, like, an- enough loss up to this point to to be, like, become disillusioned with the image of Huntresses that she's had in her head since she was a kid. Mm-hmm. So I, I really like this. I, I think it's, like... Like you said, it's like directly, it is telling. Like you have, it's at the point where it's directly confronting the, like the issues that Ruby's had so far. And Mm -hmm. I think we needed to be at this point. Like this is, this is a good time to, to confront Ruby about all that crap. And I think it's gonna, it might, like I, it kind of feels like we're getting, we're not quite at rock bottom just yet, but like, I think pretty soon, like maybe next the next episode or the one after will hit absolute rock bottom and then it'll turn up from there. But Mm. yeah, I I think we're very close to rock bottom at this point. I feel like Ruby is gonna like not become, uh, I I, don't know. Just a little theory for the, uh, going towards the end of the season uh, volume. I feel like instead of looking to become a huntress, she's going to look to become a proper silver-eyed warrior, since that is something mm-hmm. more unique, more uh, positively spoken about, because all the previous silver-eyed warriors have, like, like Maria, her mother, like, um, have all been, like, legends. So I feel yeah. like something a little bit more specific towards Ruby will be beneficial to her so i think this is like no i'm not just a hunter i'm more than that i'm a silver-eyed warrior and i have the ability right. to take down or at least stop salem so she will become mm-hmm. confident in herself in that way because she is special in that regards um yes yeah no that was a good episode yeah definitely a lot mm-hmm. of talking definitely something that i think we needed to see and yeah. um evidence that they do they, they can anima- animate the old models, uh, the old looking style, pretty good in uh, in Maya. Is it the Maya engine they're working with now? Uh, whatever the new engine is. Um, don't ask me. Now, uh, I don't know because I believe that the uh, after all this, when Volume Nine ends, that's when the Justice League X Ruby Part One movie comes out at the very end of Volume Nine. The what? <laughs> so, uh, the what? <laughs> Didn't you know about that? <laughs> no, I, I think I saw something about it. I don't. I know. Th- I knew there was a crossover. I didn't think it was a movie though. Yeah, there, there was a. They they did a giant comic. I have the comic. I have. Yeah. I, I had a headset off. Wait. Ah. Here it is. I know you can't see me. I'll fucking. Nope. Yeah, but uh, I have the Ruby X Justice League DC crossover comic. Um, but yeah, no, they're adapting it into. What appears to be a multi-part, like multi-movie part thing. So the the, the trailer the trailer dropped for it. It's like Justice League X, uh, Ruby Heroes and Huntresses or something like that, and it's part one. Wacky. And uh, I believe the release date is like just like maybe the week after or something, a little bit after Volume Nine concludes. So uh, that's something Wacky. I'm probably gonna watch Dang. and uh, not yeah. understand. It's, Me too. Yeah, so that'll be kind of interesting. But yeah, no, that, uh, episode four, whatever the title actually is going to be, uh, was pretty good. I might have to quickly yes. edit this because I got stuff to do later today. Um, but yeah, no, it was very interesting, and uh, I, I again, a lot of this is just talking. I've heard, of, I've seen a few people talk about like, oh, is this all just filler? Is this season just for filler? I don't think this oh my vol- God, no. I don't think this volume is filler. I more so think this volume is trying to address a lot of criticisms about the main group that people have had because mm-hmm. 
so much focus has been on other characters of this large cast that a lot of focus hasn't been able has been put on Team Ruby. So this volume yeah. is here to address all that and get them to a new level and get them to a new place. As well yeah, get, as... get people invested back in the main cast, which is necessary, mm. I think. And uh, it's funny you say the main cast, because the, John's also here. He's also in the main cast. He may as well <laughs> I be... I haven't seen John! He may as well be a main character. Um, yeah, yeah, he might as well be. And I, I agree with that. And also, I saw another um, another comment saying, look, with how violent Neo was towards that creature with the clones of themselves... Um, mm-hmm. the likelihood of Neo turning good at the end is starting to decrease because of their... Yeah. Yeah, but, like, I just... Uh, Neo's but... kind of a weird anomaly, almost. Like, I don't know what, what her fate's gonna end up being. Like, how they're gonna... What she's gonna end up doing in the in the final volume. Even in this volume, I don't know. Like, I don't really have a good idea. I... But... Uh, yeah. In my mind, it's one of three things. Like... She turns good for whatever reason. Either John talks to her, or like Ruby tells her how to kill Roman. She turns good and like that, that con- confronts her demons, and she turns good. Uh, or she, I, th- th- I made a whole video about this about the like, Neapolitan uh, thing. It was called uh, Revenge or Redemption, is what I called the video. Um, I still heavily believe that either yeah, she'll turn good, she'll lose a battle and die. Or the third option, which I'm starting to consider after seeing the last episode, um, she stays in the Ever After. She becomes a fairy tale in the Mm. Ever After and just stays here because, like, this, like, she can make all of her fantasies come true if her powers are working with the Ever After, like that one guy theorized, then she could make herself a home that she'd never want to leave. So. But that, yeah, that's that's kind of a weird way to get rid of a character. But yeah, I I just hope she turns. I, f- good I feel like Neo it. has been too around too long to just leave her after this volume. I feel like she has to play some kind of role in the big battle coming up. I mean, because yeah, she is um, overpowered as fuck, it would be stupid not to utilize her because she is powerful. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like there's. I mean, this like we talked about in the last video. Like this seems like the 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 final like build up right before the the final showdown if you will mm-hmm. and i think it's it's definitely like a, a storytelling um i guess i guess you'd call it a trope but like it's a necessary part of a story to have the characters hit like a rock bottom right before the like the big final battle like i think it's a necessary part like confront all of the things you haven't been able to confront up to now and have them like resolve it all you know so that you can go into the final battle with a clear head like that that's an absolutely necessary part of a story like this and i think they're confronting it really well like i so far i i like just because they're talking a bunch i don't think you can just say that it's oh it's filler you know like i don't agree with that that viewpoint at all i can't even imagine how someone would come up with that some some Um, some people that's just what they do yeah it's like, like oh they're, i don't know <laughs> they're not fighting so it must be filler no, no, it, um, they're fucking uh, see, i see i don't know if that's exactly <laughs> the the idea but i've seen some people right. talk about like oh is volume nine just filler is it literally just like like plugging in the gaps and it's just like well look <sighs> but even like, I, I don't consider this filler uh I, it, yeah this no is absolutely not story like Maybe this is this is this is this is I would argue is almost one of the most important parts of the story as we've seen it thus far. I, I reckon like, it, it's yeah. absolutely necessary. No, it's it's necessary because Rooster Teeth and the people that made Ruby made it necessary. They made it necessary yeah. because of their I don't want to say incompetence, but the way they told told all these stories thus far, it's made it necessary for them to have a volume entirely focused on Team Ruby because. They've been unable to convey their stories and emotions independently, like uh, uh, like as well as they could have. Like they've done a good job with displaying things like Blake and Yang having to kill Adam and Weiss having to go against her father, and like they've done good things like that. Uh, have been able to do a lot of growth for those characters, but 
like th- this volume is designed purely to strengthen that and to give Ruby some well needed development. Which, if you want to call that filler because they they had to compromise and do something like this, go ahead. But clearly, right. they like I I think I, yeah. it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I mean, this is absolutely. Good. This is, I, I mean, like I said, I would argue this is one of the most important parts of the story. Like, it happens, there's definitely in a lot of, like, manga and stuff that I've read, there's a point where they're, like, at the absolute lowest they could have been, and from there, they, like, the char- the main characters, like, confront all of their demons, if you will, and, like, go into the final battle with, with like, nothing holding them down. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's definitely what this is, and... I like it's absolutely necessary part of the story for sure. Yeah. Like, so I'm I'm on board, and that was I think that was really well done in this episode. Yeah. So I had no complaints. Awesome. Well, unless there's anything <clears throat> else to talk about, I think that's where we should end this. Um, nope. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a good episode. Um, yeah, I think Ruby is got a bit more. Uh, she's gonna be beaten up a little bit more uh, coming up soon. Yes. And. Um, Still no Jean. He has yet to appear. Um, Neo's... My boy. Neo's, where are you? <laughs> where is he? Um, Neo's brief appearance hasn't been elaborated on, but uh, it's either... For her, it's either Semblance Evolution or her powers working with the Ever After. I don't know. Um, we'll see how all that pans out. We'll probably get an explanation later. Um, but yeah, that's all for this week. I'm very keen for next week. I'm very keen for every episode of this because so far I have not been disappointed. I know Ruby tends to have a little trend of like dipping right at the end and a lot of things are contrived and are forced to happen. That That is a trend with endings of volumes. I'm hoping with how much time they've had to prepare and get this sorted that it's just going to be a clean, solid volume of character development. That's what I'm hoping Yes. For. All right. Well... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Kia, Firestorm, and Gus. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, keep an eye out for whenever Gus drops a Ruby song. Um, I'm going to hopefully... Yeah, I don't think I'll actually post it on uh, my main YouTube, so mm. you'll have to dig a little bit. Yep, I'll, I'll, I'll share it, probably. <laughs> hey, fam. <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Next week. See you. Bye.